guys hello and welcome to another Microsoft Visual Studio tutorial in this tutorial we are walking through the process of starting the Visual Studio 2019 for the first time so once this splash screen comes in front of you what you will do next is you're gonna make a choice either you want to clone a repository or you want to open a project or solution or you open a local folder or you create a new project or you can continue without code so if you want to create a new project you can simply click on create new project now unlike the previous versions of Visual Studio this one is slightly different because it gives you an option of using console app C sharp console app VB likewise ASP.NET and if you are interested in a form based application you may have to scroll down to the Windows forms app and that's where you will be able to find it so as you can see it just categorizes them in several different categories and just browsing quickly over these categories so that you can see based on for example I installed uh, Visual Studio with Python and Unity and um, C Sharp, C++, VB, all of these different things so based on what you need it will give you different options so some of you may get more options or less options than what you're looking at on my screen and that's totally based on when you did your install what options you picked. If you're interested in coding in C++ you also have a choice of picking Windows desktop application C++. I'm interested in Windows Forms app in C Sharp so I will pick that option and as you see over here it is C Sharp for Windows operating system desktop I will then hit next it will ask me to name my app so this is my first test app and then I will click create and then this will create the application for me now this is the first time Visual Studio is loading and voila you're right in the environment so every time you open Visual Studio 2019 on the left hand side it gives you your previous projects as you can see over here it gives me an option to select first test app which was the last one that I just created in this tutorial and then it gives me the options of picking the other out of the other four choices or continue without code so if I click on continue without code it just takes me directly into the Visual Studio environment and then I can go to file new project and then I can make my choice exactly the same way as I made my choice the first time here are my previous choices so this is quite neat that I can make my choice I mean like whatever choices I made in the past are listed right here for convenience so I don't have to keep uh, scrolling down every time anyway hope you would have uh, enjoyed this tutorial and learn a few things about how to work with Visual Studio 2019 don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this tutorial take care till the next video bye bye